What is up everybody? Welcome to Midnight Mycology, your late night study center for mushroom cultivation. Today, we're going to show you how to make drippy corn, probably one of the fastest colonizing grain spawns out there today. Whether you're the new guy or a veteran in the field, this recipe is a must have for all of your grows. Before we begin, let's go down the list of items necessary to make drippy corn. First, we need the all essential popcorn. Next, we need light corn syrup. We need rubber latex gloves. We need 70% isopropyl alcohol. We need a couple mason jars. And obviously, a pressure cooker. Now that we have all of our items necessary, we can begin. The most important step is sterilization. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean off our workstation and get to the sterilization. Now that we have a clean workstation, we can go ahead and put our corn in our pressure cooker. For this part, we don't need the rack, so we can take that out. And for the first time, we're going to be using two pounds. Now you can do a lot more, however, I don't need a lot more. And here we only want to fill the water to about three inches above the corn. Our next step is a dash of light corn syrup. Now the proper measurements for this is about an eighth of a cup to about a sixteenth. Only because we're doing two pounds, the proper recipe is a, it's about a quarter cup for eight to nine pounds of corn. I'm going to go ahead and stir this up a little bit with a spoon just to get it mixed up. Get it off a little bit bottom of the cooker. And now it's time for pressure cooking. As you can see, we got our 15 pound weight on. We got it sealed. And now we're gonna cook it for about 20 minutes at 15 PSI. Now while our corn is pressure cooking, we can go ahead and prepare ourselves for the next step, which is to lay out our corn and let it dry from evaporation. This helps get rid of any excess moisture that may cause wet rots down the road. So we'll just grab a large tray like this and we'll line it with some paper towels. Once it's done, we'll strain it out and we'll lay it out on our tray. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes now, so we'll go ahead and turn off the stove and we'll wait till it's cooled down. All right guys, it is done pressure cooking, so now it is time to strain. All right. What I'm going to start doing is grabbing these by the handful so I don't pour excess water that's sitting at the bottom onto our tray. Alright, now that we have our tray of hydrated kernels, We'll go ahead and let it sit and evaporate for about 15 to 20 minutes. Alright, and we are back. Now that the kernels have dried a little bit, 
Our next step is to place them in our mason jars. All right, once we got our kernels in our jars, what we're gonna do is take our mason jar lids, we're gonna flip the lid so that the inside is facing up. What this does is prevents a proper seal from forming, and this will keep pressure from building inside the jar and risking possibly exploding. You want to make sure that they're all finger tight. Once you get your lids on your mason jars, you want to make sure that there's a little bit of wiggle room on every one of your lids. This makes sure that there's no pressure being built inside the jars. And we're going to put some tin foil on top of our lids. This will help keep moisture and condensation from finding its way into the jar. As you can see, I've used these before, which you can use them until they rip. This helps reduce waste. Alright, now we have all three of our jars ready to be pressure cooked. Alright, to load our pressure cooker, I'm going to go ahead and set a couple of these mason jar rings at the bottom. And then we'll place the included rack. This gives extra elevation from the bottom of the jars, so you do not have a direct heat source heating up the bottom of the jars. And I will fill up the water to about the first quarter of the jar and we'll pressure cook from there. All right, now that we got the jars in the pressure cooker, we're going to go ahead and pressure cook it for 90 minutes at 15 PSI. All right guys, so it's been about an hour and a half now, so I just turned off the stove and we'll let the pressure cooker settle down, cool down, and we'll take the top off and see what we got. Now that the pressure cooking is done, we're going to sterilize and clean our workstation one last time. Go ahead and take our pressure cooker lid off. And there you have it guys, you have three jars of drippy corn. Um, make sure to let it cool down completely before inoculating. Um, my recommendation is to let it sit for at least 24 hours. And that way you know for sure by the end of it that it will be ready to inoculate. Thanks for watching everyone. If you want to see more mushroom cultivation content, please don't forget to work the YouTube algorithm by liking this video, subscribing to this channel, and then hitting the notification icon below to make sure you are getting all the latest Midnight Mycology videos sent to your feed. Bye now.